So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And legit guys, I think I've just found the new best rune farm in this entire game. Yes, we all know the Mugwind Dynasty Hill is incredible. But could this be even better? Will you guys tell me? How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so there are plenty of rune farms in the game. The best is by far the Mogwin Dynasty Hill rune farm. Or it was the best. I think, guys, I found a better one. So I am located right here on the map, Fingerstone Hill. I'll show guys to you guys exactly how you get here in a quick second. Uh, I was actually just running through this area, collecting my things, and I saw a lot of enemies all asleep, minding their own business. I thought, you know what? I'm going to equip that classic Elden Beast Relic Sword and see what I can do and check this out now I'm naked because I just want to move faster swipe each one of these drops me 3500 each and there is tons of them on this hill all you gotta do is run up the hill take them all out just fire the relic sword is ridiculous we all know about the relic sword anyway when you get to this point guys you just want to look slightly right because there's two there that you can miss we do down, down, and down. Then we got here. We just come to this side. Boom. Come up here. I've been doing it for about 10 minutes and I've almost got a million. Well, I wouldn't even say I've been doing it for 10 minutes. I've been looking around the area for about 5 of them 10 minutes. And look how many runes I've got. Everyone's dead. Fast travel back. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Pull out my horse. So this is how quick I can do it. Jump off right here. As soon as you get used to it, guys, you just gotta get your angles right in here. You wanna get more right and waking up and trying to react. So just like so. Shoot them. Just like so. Run up. Do it again. Just like so. Turn to the right, looks like to the right, because we got that one there. As you do. Just like so. Then a little bit further to your left. Look to your right. Swipe again. Just like so. Come up here. Swipe again. Run up to see if you've missed any. And it seems I've missed two. Swipe again. I'm not sure exactly how now I get per run. But it's absolutely ridiculous. And he also dropped these things too quite often. Pearlescent scales. Go back to it guys, rinse and repeat. So I'm just going to quickly just do a quick little calculation. I'll speed this up uh, so we ain't got to watch it all again. So I've got 716,000. Okay, cool. So I'm basically getting 70,000 per run. 70,000 per run and I ain't playing on New Game Plus. If you're doing this on New Game Plus, you're going to earn more runes. So let's not get it twisted. Probably earn double that. New Game Plus 2, triple that. New Game Plus 4, quadruple that. You know how it works. All I'm using is my Golden Scarab. I ain't using any other buffs, but there are plenty of other buffs you can put on, guys, to do this. Uh, we've got these right here. The gold people with foul foot. I mean, these do reset every time you uh, go to a grace, so keep that in mind. But there's many and many of things, guys, you can use to get tons and tons of runes. So, the place, if it looks interesting to you, is Fingerstone Hill. Now, to get this in, to this entire area, firstly, guys, we need to. I'll, I'll take you here from the very, very, very start. Okay, so we are at here. So, we need to come to this grace right here. The Highland Road Cross. And we're going to make our way to Morph Ruins. Come out Morph Ruins. We're going to come to Bunny Village. We need to come up here and get an emote. Get the emote. We're going to come around this way. We're going to come all the way around here. We're going to come all the way up here to the church district entrance. We're going to make our way through to Hinterland. Hinterland Bridge. And then the Fingerstone Hill. I will speed up in between. If you want to slow down the video, you can use YouTube's options. Uh, in between routes. I don't want the video running for an hour. But yeah. Just for people that have never been here, never been to this location. 
We're gonna start from the high road crush grace point. So let's go people, let's go. Okay, so we are right here on the map and we're gonna make our way to more ruins. So jump on your little stallion. Look east and come this way. We are now at Morph Ruins and we're going to make our way through to Bonnie Village. So this is where you go from here. Jump back on your stallion and follow this path. Okay, so I'll slow down the video a little bit here because this place is where you have to navigate down. It's a little dark, so yep, drop down here guys. And you want to turn on yourself here, turn back on yourself, sorry. And come down this way just like so come through here just like so jump down there again go along here jump down here again turn back on yourself once again drop down to your left or jump jump down to your left and we just want to go through this path right here and then guys we'll come up a ladder and we'll end up at barney village so let's go up the ladder Okay, so we're now at Bonnie Village, guys. We can see the grace right here. And now we just want to make our way up to this point here just to see if you've got the uh, the emote already. Well, you need to get the emote because it unlocks a path for us to get to that farm. Now, what I will say is, as I usually do, I'll put timestamps in the video description for the people out there who already got these graces already unlocked. It's going to be quick for use. So, yep, jump across here, guys. Turn left. I'm going to make our way up here. Just like a list. And right here, guys, there will be a gesture and emote for you to pick up. Okay, so now, guys, we're going to, let me just clear my map. We're going to make our way to the recluses. No, we ain't going to. We're going to cross this bridge here, cross this bridge here, and walk our way all the way around to this grace right here. The church, district, high road. So let's go. We are now at the grace of uh, the bridge leading to the village. This is where we want to get to, guys. Okay, so then we're going to make our way around to the high. Well, that, that grace there, I can't remember what it was. I'm so tired. Hey, the fog's gone, though. That's a bonus. So let's go this way. I, I've been sweating out this game, people. And as you can probably tell by my, the amount of videos I've uploaded on my channel, I don't have any editors. I don't have anybody else working for me. I do it all by myself. So you can imagine night and day playing this game oh yes and by the way you don't want to get too close to this uh, fire golem yeah so when he was attacks just jump because he will burn you he will burn your ass there's no question about that And here on our right hand side guys we have another grace which I'm just going to jump off and reset because I got wolves on my ass. Okay so we are now at that grace point like I said. The church district high road. So we're going to make our way into the church district entrance. We're going to maneuver our way through uh, shadow keep and out here. So let's go back on your horse and to this way. Okay, so now guys, we are at that church district entrance grace point. So we're just going to follow this path, guys. So follow exactly where I go, jump here. And we're going to run around here to our right. Just like so. Bit of scaring to do here, guys, but don't worry, it's no problem. Jump across here, just like that. Turn right and come this way. Up here. Turn right, jump. There we go. Try and avoid all enemies and come this way. That guy there to our right hits quite hard. 
So we're going to try and avoid his attacks. And then guys are going to jump onto this, uh, well, this little panel right here. Just like that. And we're going to turn right and go up here. And just like so, jump up here guys. I'm going to fall down a crack in this roof. Wrong button, wrong one even. So let's drop down here. Just like that. Then guys, we're going to drop down this hole. And then we're just going to run forward. Avoiding all the heads. And I'm pretty sure there's a hard hitting enemy around this corner. So we're going to try and avoid him. Yes, there is. Try and avoid him as best we can. Let's keep dodging. Keep dodging. Now on your left hand side, go out here. And there will be a lift. And you want to jump on that. Just like so. And now we're going to go up. So once you reach the top, come out this way guys, and we are right here, turn left and come through this way, and there will be a grace point right here. And this is the grace of the storehouse back section. Now we've got to make our way up to the storehouse aloft, that means we've got to climb. So this ladder, climb up it, go to the very top. Once at the top, turn right and follow this path, go up these stairs. Go behind this bookshelf holding those bricks and on your right hand side you'll see a gap in the wall. You want to jump through there. From here turn right and follow this path and keep coming this way. Go inside here, there's another grace which is the loft. Now you want to get in this lift and go up. Now here guys you have to be a little bit careful because you can easily fall off so just follow this path I'm taking right here and there's a ladder right over there where we have to go up we're going to climb up the ladder just like so you spikes from my ass player whoever you are and you want to come this way just like so and this is the one enemy we do have to take out we just well oh shit don't lock onto him this guy right here which is the nether eyes just jump down Jump down again, just like that. And now guys, we run out this door, turn to our right, and get in this lift, and go down. And we're about a couple minutes away from this farm, well, this farming spot. Okay, so once you jump off here, guys, come down here, and there is another lift, which I will have to call because I've just come that, just been down it. Okay, so once you're at the very bottom, guys, you get this grace right here, which is the Shadow Keep back gate. Now, guys, you want to turn right and come into this room. Now, when you first get here, there will be a statue there where you have to use that old mother uh, gesture right in front of it. So, equip it or just test it. Confirm. Once you do it, that statue will move out of the way. Then, guys, you're good to just pass through. Simple as that. And now guys, we're in the area where that farm starts. So this is the first grace point you'll come to in Skadu View. Hinterland, and we just make our way across to the Hinterland Bridge and then across to the Fingerstone Hill. So jump on your mount and come this way. Now when you first come here, there will be a couple of tree sentinels. Which run straight past them if you haven't taken them out. Or if you don't want to take them out, run straight past them. They are nowhere near where this farm spot is, so you're, you're very, very safe doing it. So let's come this way, guys. Okay, so here we have the Hinter Bridge, uh, Hinterland Bridge Grace Point, sorry. We're going to make our way to the Fingerstone Hill uh, Grace Point. Now, what I will say is, it's like where I first started doing it from. But then I realised the grace on the other side of these enemies is a much quicker route to these enemies. So yeah, do what you gotta do, people. But you can see you've run past them all. There's quite a few here. And just up to your left, on that slight hill there, is that grace point. And it really is as simple as 
that get that uh, relic sword the sacred relic sword this thing right here this is a drop from the Elden Beast's Remembrance cool then simple to do the farm one more time pull out your horse pull out your mount jump off get behind this one and fire away using that special attack and there we have it guys as simple as that guys if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more i don't really be sure to subscribe if you see anyone stealing my farms do let me know tell them give credit give credit and hopefully guys i'll see you on that next one